This is a Venture Pro video highlighting the temperature control settings that, that we have on here. It involves the set point and we'll go first of all to the, the temperature or the control settings button and we'll just kind of step through all of this. In this case, as we can see on the second line that in the parentheses ramping is on. If I was outside the range of my dates for ramp points that would uh, give us a set point. So this would be like for broilers or for feeder pigs that we're endeavoring to ramp the temperature. It goes down as they get older in age. Uh, so the age of the animal determines where it should be at. So the current set point is 73.5 based on what the, the current days of age is. In this case, it's a it's a hog example, but it, it sim, same thing is going to be true whether we're doing poultry or, or swine. So um, it's going to show what the current one is every day on that ramp between the various points. It's going to change what the set point is. And whenever this set point changes, it's going to also take that, um, that difference from from set point and and make that same change to fans to heaters to um, all your temperature con control devices will also their on temp and off temp will um, change by the same amount so they're always the same offset from whatever the current set point is so when you first set it up you you and you have a set point it's whatever you set your fans to are going to be an offset from that. So in this case, 73.5, our first fan stage that we've got is set up to come on at 74 and off at 73. So it, it's in this case, it's going to be a half degree over before that first fan comes on steady. And we set this one up also so it'll run and bend. So when it's not calling for cooling, it will cycle to provide air exchange. So going back to our, our settings here, we'll go down one. Uh, temperature control, actual and effective. This is only if you're using our airspeed type temp sensors and uh, trying to use humidity. A humidity sensor also. Uh, that'll contribute to uh, what the animal feels for temperature. And so when we move this star or asterisk closer to effective, it means it's factoring in full effective when it's all the way over here. And here it's basically just using actual air temp for running the various devices and coming up with the working temperature for the room. So, and this is commonly uh, unless you're using those airspeed temp sensors, you wouldn't uh, put it over here. And even if you are probably more in the middle or the third or fourth spot closer to actual. Another uh, setting is enter tunnel temperature. So now amongst your fan stages, which one, what's the temperature where you want it to go into tunnel? In this case, the fourth fan up it match on temperature matches this enter tunnel temperature in the way we set it up. So if we look at our, go back to our fans again, we'll just take a quick look. A typical way to do this, we're, we're doing a, a one degree between on and off to allow it to really start actually effectively cooling down before it cuts out the fan. And then going up, we can just use the plus key to go from our first fan to our second is 75 on 74 off we're just going by degree each uh, stage going up so as that cooling stage is not able to maintain temperature and it rises another degree um, now we're actually up uh, a few degrees above set point we're getting higher this is 77 is where this stage comes on and that's also the one that we chose over here to be our enter tunnel temperature. We set an exit tunnel temperature somewhere below that. So um, we don't want it to be switching back and forth from cooling to tunnel because it takes a while to move the tunnel curtain or tunnel door um, and to switch what you're using for inlets. So it's nice to stay in that mode and uh, so this, this can help us to do that by where we set our 
exit tunnel temperature. This also will help it stay there. Even if that uh, exit tunnel temperature is, is satisfied, it cools down fairly quickly. This is a minimum amount of time to stay in tunnel to try to make sure that we're really bringing the temperature down and can go back into regular cooling stages. So again, it's just something to help us to keep from going back and forth between cooling and tunnel. And obviously, if, if you go too high on this and the weather outside, the temperature is cool, it can uh, overcool too. So you just have to think about what will make sense. Um, here it just reflects what today's age of the animals are. So that uh, is the reference for where we are on our temperature ramp. In this case, um, we're using a, a ramp where age one day um, has a temperature of 80 hitting the plus key goes to the second point on the ramp so between age 1 and 14 it's going to change a degree that means that each day a, a decimal part of a degree will change at midnight um, the controller will change what the current set point is and again on that line between one and between one day and 14 it'll do that the next one from 14 to 25 it'll be um, a line between the 79 and 77 degrees it'll make those changes um, and then we've got a set point at age 30 73 and a half which is where we're at right now um, 49 or seven weeks and 135 days so we've covered as long as the age is within the range of this ramp ramping will be shown to be on when we first go to control settings what happens when you get past 135 well in this case at 135 the set point will be 61 at day 136 and everyone after if no one changes things the ramping will be shown to be off and it'll stay at that 61 because that's the last setting so that's how our ramping works. Um, temperature offset is something that's added to this menu just to, uh, if our room temperature average seems to be a little bit off of where we want to be, we don't want to take it out of ramping to manually set a, or change our ramp table. We can do a temporary offset right here to um, make it a little warmer, a little cooler in the room because we we feel it needs to be it's a temporary setting that that we can make to uh, make a slight adjustment we wouldn't want to get too carried away with um, changing this dramatically the last setting is floor type concrete slab um, the the only two choices here are concrete or other so the if it's if the animals are on concrete slabs it, you'd have it set to concrete and anything else would be other it only factors into that effective temperature that because of the thermal properties of the concrete we have a, a little different effect if they're on something that that doesn't pull heat as well as concrete so normally this you wouldn't have to worry about it isn't going to affect any of your um, anything else other than effective temperature if you're using that feature